First Chair is brought to you by Vail Summit Orthopedics and Neurosurgery, keeping you active. Made my way over to the Simonton observation deck, or just the, the viewing deck at the top of Eagle's Nest. And just a, a word to the wise, walking on this fresh snow, it's, uh, it's pretty slick out here. So just, you know, first thing this morning as you're making your way to your car or your office or, you know, wherever you might be headed, breakfast, uh, it's, uh, it's definitely getting getting pretty slick with those conditions. But this snow that's falling, you can see just a little bit of accumulation here on the railing, and it is pretty light, fluffy snow. <sighs> that oh yeah nice and fluffy and as far as the visibility is concerned that's definitely going to be a factor today and you know right here you can see this sign for Mount of the Holy Cross typically right here you can see all the way across to our very favorite 14er right here in the heart of the Vale Valley and coming up this summer this is going to be one of those great places where you can see it and you can also see how the cross forms in the uh, the crevices or the you know the couloir which is about 750 feet on each side these are each 750 feet and this whole thing right here is about 1500 feet of vertical and you know there's just such a cool story behind Mount of the Holy Cross basically people saw it back in the 1800s and it was just kind of this big myth until William Henry Jackson William Henry Jackson had a chance to actually take a picture of it and it just went basically nationwide in all of the papers and uh, and people started to make a pilgrimage here to see that cross because it felt they felt like it had you know healing powers and it is pretty cool to see how in the spring and um, you know kind of the uh, the early summer how the snow melts and you can you can see it from miles and miles and miles away anyway uh, there's so many great things about Vail uh, here in the in the winter and in the summertime and it's hard to believe that we are really bringing this season to a close but but we have some wild weather still ahead of us this week. It's definitely, it's definitely a great way to say, to say goodbye to the seasons. Let's take a look at that forecast.